Um, I want to bring in the new year by talking about Tom Daly. So, uh, first of all, how many of us are surprised that he came out as bisexual? I know I sure the fuck wasn't. As soon as he said that he was diving into that LGBT pool, I was in that water underneath that diving board with my ass up and my mouth open. <laughs> And then, how great was it when he says that he's dating Dustin Lance Black, you know, the guy who wrote Milk, who's like 20 years older than him? And now there's like two camps to this whole Tom Daly, Dustin Lance Black thing. So you've got the people who are like, ew, that's gross, that's so disgusting. And you know what I say? That's about every relationship. Every man, every woman that I've dated, every husband that I've had, every wife that I've had, they've all said that about our relationship. Ew, gross, that's so disgusting. Of course, it was when I was taking my clothes off in front of him and said, hey, let's make fuck with the lights on, but that's a different story. But then you've got the two parts of the Tom Daly, Dustin Lance Black camp that are like, oh, that's so sweet. That shows that love knows no age and anyone can fall in love. And I call fucking bullshit on both camps. This whole Tom Daly, Dustin Lance Black thing just proves that money can buy good-looking, barely legal 19-year-old ass. Because if Dustin Lance Black was broke, he'd be doing me. And uh, by the way, if anyone knows Dustin or Tom or they happen to see this, um, don't sue me for that because I don't fucking have anything. So. All right, so moving on so I don't get in any more trouble. Um, I gotta tell you about my night out in West Hollywood a couple nights ago. You guys are gonna like fucking love this. So, I was walking down Santa Monica Boulevard with some friends. And we weren't in like the super gay power bottom like part of West Hollywood. We were like in like Preston Heights or King's Row. You know, it was like bi curious and still pass for straight, you know, West Hollywood. So, we're walking past these two guys, and it turns out that they're husbands. One is like completely sober trying to get a cab. The other one is drunk off his face. And the little drunk husband comes up to me as I'm walking by with my friends, grabs my arm and he goes, you're a ha, you gotta come with us. Come party with us. That's my husband over there. He's sober, but I still love him. I love him when he's sober. I'll fuck you, you'll fuck me, and then my husband will fuck both of us. And the poor little husband, he's like, I'm sorry, he's so super drunk. And I'm like, I get it, dude. I've got a husband and myself. We've all been there, you know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm really flattered that you want to do me, but I'm just going to hang out with my friends. So we walk away, and the little drunk husband starts yelling after us, I love you, cunt. Work those hips, hunty. I want to bend you over and fuck you bareback in your boy hole. <laughs> I want to wrap you up like a corn dog and dip you in mustard, you sexy bitch whore. And I'm just like, wow, I can see why someone scooped you up and all the good ones you're taking. So we walk by this bar in Santa Monica called Gold Coast, and there's this guy who's just standing there with his arms crossed outside of it, and he looks at me and he's like, I heard what that guy said. And I'm like, yeah, I think all of fucking West Hollywood heard what he said. <laughs> no lie, you guys, the guy comes up behind me, and he goes like this, you're very fuckable. Ooh. Grabs my dick and my balls, walks back into Gold Coast as if nothing ever happened. And that is proof that alcohol makes ugly people hot. <laughs> I'm not serious. I have no fucking delusions. I can go from Honey Boo Boo's mom to Zac Efron in two shots. <laughs> Six if you have a high tolerance and you drink a lot of <laughs> Yeah, we're going there, comedy store. It's fucking New Year's. I don't fucking give a shit. <laughs> so, uh, as I said, I, I recently uh, I got married. And uh, my husband, the funny thing about him is he still expects me to suck a dick. <laughs> That's exactly what I did on our wedding night, and I was like, yeah, dream on, asshole. I was just doing that so I could trap you, fool. <laughs> no, because my husband has a big old dick, okay? This faggot is hung like a motherfucker. I'm like, I'm not sucking on that thing no more, okay? It chaps my lips, gives me locked jaw. <laughs> Like seriously, I have a rule now. There are two things I don't bring to the table. Low jobs and cooking. What am I, his mother? <laughs>
we're going there. It's a 10 o'clock show. It's a fucking 10 o'clock show. <laughs> So, uh, what else can I talk about? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, ooh, so you guys want to hear this? Okay, this is how fucked up my mind works. So, this will be like one of the last things and then I'll go. So I was walking down the street the other day and I see this advertisement for like healthy food, healthy living. And it's one of those things like, you know, question, you know, it asks you a question and you have to answer it. So the question was, what is the only fruit that has seeds on the outside. And immediately in my mind, I was like, that's easy, bag it with a facial. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm Joe Fulcombe. <laughs> Happy Slimey <laughs> Fortnite, I love you guys. <laughs> One more time for Joe Fulcombe.